again, everyone. Welcome back from the break. Again, my name is Sarah Omni. I'm the CEO of the International Space Federation. You know, I've loved the presentations that have been on, going on today, talking about Goldify, Tree Cycle, and also hearing Moses walk us through all those steps because, it's, you know, tuning in is one thing, feeling the peace, but then grounding it with action. And those businesses are great examples of what we're doing to ground and bring action to the consciousness and the peace that we're, that we're tuning to and feeling called to. And so it's with great pleasure that I'm going to talk to you about International Space Federation today, or ISF. And Dana, thank you very much for bringing up International Day of Conscience, Consciousness. I was having trouble having it roll off my tongue as well. It's so true. <laughs> International Day of Consciousness um, is, is what we're celebrating today. And again, thank you very much to the Passy Foundation and to um, Initiatives of Change for making this happen. You know, we have a lot of talk going on right now about, you know, the goals we have by 2030 and how we're going to help the planet. And, you know, I mentioned earlier in the opening talk how easy it is for us to tap into that peace when we're in this beautiful environment on the lake in this gorgeous palace or wherever you may be watching from if, if you're watching the recording. We have a privileged life, many of us, and so it's easy to tune into that. But when we think about you know, the majority or much of the planet that does not have this, and we think about ways we can help them, you know, we can feel good about ourselves when we're talking about, about our goals, like our 2030 goals and bringing renewable resources to this planet, wind power, solar panel, hydro, um, you know, biofuels and, uh, and wave actions. We're like, okay, we got this. We got the goals. We're getting there. We're going to have renewables on this planet. We're going to help this planet with its greenhouse gases and getting away from fossil fuels. But let's not be ostriches with our head in the ground. We cannot be hypocrites. Just wake up to the ugly truth behind these renewable energy sources. They all have a dark side. The, uh, the solar panels we're using right now, very um, resource intensive. To make the polysilicon, it requires high heat, which often comes from China, from coal-powered plants. You know, dams, we can talk about all the destruction the hydro dams do. The windmills on the path of migratory birds. The wave action, which sounds pretty safe, but if you look at what, how it destroys the, uh, the marine life along the coastline, mm, it's a different story. You think, oh, what about these, these really innovative things we hear about on the news, like the, the tokamak or, or hot fusion? <laughs> You know, talk to our physicists about that. There's a whole nother side that the media doesn't show you. It creates, takes far, far more energy inputs than is coming out. We have a long, you know, it's questionable if they're ever going to get there. It's, it's highly unlikely. And, you know, talking about the rest of the world and how they're not fortunate like us, you know, about a third of the world faces food scarcity. It's hard to feel peace. You don't know where your next meal is coming from. Water, about 40% of this planet does not have access to clean water sources. That which they may have may be contaminated with you know, radioactive from, from nuclear waste or you know, perhaps um, you know, over one million tons of oil is spilled into the marine environments every year. So what little water we do have access to is getting contaminated at an alarming rate. And what about air, pop, air pollution? It's the number one threat of environmental pollution, pollutant. Millions and millions die every year of premature deaths from air pollution. One third of those, not from the environment outside, but from inside their house, from cooking over the fire, from heating um, fires inside the home. So, of the eight billion people on this planet, about 1.6 billion of them are in poverty. So we have these lofty goals like 2030, but the reality is at the pace we're going with the technologies that we know of, with the renewables that we talk to today, by 2030, it's more like over half the planet is going to be in poverty. The list goes on, the torments. You know, another thing, we we're safe. We're not in a war-torn environment. Another reason why we can feel peace. We're safe, we know our loved ones are safe. What about much of the planet? Now you have to ask yourself. Is this the world you want to live in?
Think about that. Really let that seep in. This is what we're looking at. Let's not keep our head in the ground like an ostrich, like I said. We need to take action. We need to find solutions. Now this is gonna have a happy ending. <laughs> so now imagine a world and join me on this journey because we need to ground this. We need to bring in these visions. So join me in this vision. Imagine a world with unlimited energy. This is not a far-fetched dream. So really, imagine this with me. Let's bring this into our consciousness. Let's let go of our lack mentality and really, truly think of a world with unlimited energy because our physicists know how to get us there. They have created, they have written the physics behind making this possible. Along with the energy solutions comes gravity control. And this is gonna lead us to natural abundance. Because we think, okay, energy, we're getting away from fossil fuels. Great, we help the air pollution, now we have energy. But truly think about what that means. If we have gravity control, and unlimited energy, suddenly we have abundance of water. Water is no longer an issue because we can pull water from the atmosphere. There's comets flying around. You know, we talk about gravity control. It's not just for getting around this planet. It's for getting off planet. When we are off planet, we are no longer mining the resources on this planet. There's meteors flying around that are full of all the minerals we need, of, of ice we can bring to this planet. We can greenify the planet. And suddenly... You know, this is a great equalizer. I love that the Passy Foundation talks about um, eliminating inequalities. What greater way to eliminate inequalities than making resources like food and water available to people all over the planet, no matter what country they're in? What about access to health care? Now it's like nothing for a doctor or a specialist to get around the world. Everybody has equal access. This also means decentralized power. That can take your mind far. Suddenly you don't have one nation ruling over another because we all have access to these resources. This is a biggie. Think about our wars today. Think about what is going on now. What are wars about? It's also often about control over energy, over access. Think about like the canal routes they're fighting over. Well, if we have gravity control, that's no longer an issue. So many of the reasons why the wars are going on is going to be eliminated with what we're working on today. In a healthier planet, you know, it's our dream not only to bring this technology to the world, but to then use the funds to restore the planet. This is really fun to imagine. Imagine the power lines coming down. Imagine the hydro dams getting disassembled. We go on and on. The roads, imagine the roads coming off. You know, it's, it's easy to feel peace when you're in nature. You know, there's, there's a lot of people here that, that understand that. You know, if you need a break, go lean against a tree. Go take a walk in nature. When we're in a city and you got the, the planes, trains, and automobiles making their noise, the disruption, the disharmonious energies around it, it's easy to fall out of the peace, the peace, the love, the consciousness that we're talking about. But when we're in harmony with nature, it's like, whew. So imagine instead of roads going through our cities, we have parks. You know, we, give, we bring, we bring a, a healthy planet to the people no matter where they're living. Sounds like a dream, hmm? It's not. It's not. Our scientists at ISF have done incredible work with um, writing the, the unified physics, which is the roadmap to how we're going get to get to this goal. So I'm going to talk about ISF and what we're working on there. Because this is truly a new paradigm for humanity. We have so many visionaries out there right now working on beautiful solutions. Combined with what we're working on at ISF with the new means for energy production and gravity control, this is really, truly a new paradigm for humanity. And this gives us so much hope, real, anchored hope. This isn't just words. And uh, later, right after me, Nassim is going to get on and talk about some of the science behind what I'm talking about to really help you ground it so you, you know this is not a philosophy. It's not a dream. It's real. We have the answers. And we are looking at a bright future for everyone. Truly. I don't know about some of you, but lately, you know, there's, there's kind of like a nervous energy in the world. It's like I've even had trouble sleeping lately. There's a lot of disturbances. 
obviously there's a lot of, you know, it's happened to some, what's going on right now, it's just like, Phew. but on the other side of that, I feel a bright light. Like, I know it's there. I know humanity is going to pull through this. And, you know, part of that is I'm privy to seeing what we're doing in the laboratory, but that's why I want to give, bring you all that hope today so you have that same, that same feeling for the light. And be part of this world with us. We're doing this together. You know, we're talking about grounding and taking action and, and following our calling. So maybe you're not working for ISF or Goldify or Tree Cycle, but there's ways you can be involved, and I'm going to talk about that as well. Because really, we're going to bring energy. You say, okay, is it safe? You know, it's not only safe, but the energy, I'm wearing a little one around my neck right now, it's harmonious. You are talking about the feminine, masculine energy that Tebow was talking about earlier. This is, this is feminine. It's, it's organic. It's harmonious with nature. It is totally safe. Not only safe, but it creates a coherent field around it so that, that biological systems thrive around it. Plants have you know, double the life cycle. Um, I have one of these crystals in my water bottle. It structures the water. You put these on, you feel calm. This thing is actually producing milliamps that I'm wearing, and it's helping my health. So yeah, safe and some. It's unlimited. The energy we're talking about is unlimited. Nassim is going to get more into that next about, you know, how much energy we can pull out of a cubic centimeter of space. She's like, it's practically infinite. So what is ISF, International Space Federation? ISF is an organization based on the unification of physics through the study of quantum vacuum fluctuations, leading to the development of novel sources of energy and microgravity control. That is our mission. Surrounded with that is consciousness and getting our, our, our teachings, the education out into the world. And uh, so many of our physicists are here today and we have some of our administrative staff is here as well. Uh, we're a small team doing a lot of work. We're located, uh, headquartered in Geneva with a laboratory and not far from Geneva in France. And uh, the team I'll have, I, I'm going to talk a little bit about the physics. Um, actually, I'll wait till I introduce Nassim to talk about what some of the physicists are doing. But just know that there's been amazing inventors in the past that have come up with over unity devices. A lot of times, engineers and inventors, they're intuitive. They get it through intuition. But they, they have trouble taking it further because they don't understand the physics. What our physicists have done is a roadmap to this energy. It is actual. They recently published, uh, last September, um, the first part of a three-part series of a paper on unified physics. It's located on the CERN database, and it has been let, downloaded 40,000 times so far. The world is waking up fast about the unified physics they have written. And as the next two papers come out, the world is going to find this roadmap that's going to bring us this technology that we're working on right now in our laboratory. So. In our laboratory, we're working on energy production, gravity control, and biotech. Biotech is another one, um, you know, we all are concerned about um, agriculture and water and, and uh, you know, the health of our, our wellness of our bodies. And that's uh, one thing as well, when I mentioned it's not only healthy, it's incredibly healthy. The plant growth increases by, you know, 100 times sometimes the germination of plants, 100% um, growth, I should say. So it's incredible, incredible growth um, results that we're seeing. So how can you be a part of this? As I mentioned, we're a small team, and we're not funded by special interest. You know, there's, there's so much going on right now, and that's the reason why a lot of um, the amazing inventions that are out there right now don't make it into the world, because there's a lot of special interests that don't have an interest in seeing this. This is disruptive technology before. So this is going to take participation from as many people as can help through their various ways they can help. This ISF is for the people, by the people. It's for humanity, by humanity. So we need participation in this, and we have different ways that you can help. Uh, we have a bond, which, um, you know, similar to Tree Cycle, it's going to give back in a very organic way, where you're helping us right now so we can help humanity as we get profits. That's gonna flow back to you. And you're know, talking about the power of money as, as we were with Goldify. You know, we need money in the hands of conscious people. <laughs> so for those that, that are invest in the bond, oh, I wish you riches. Of course, with any investment, there's disclosures, but um, 
it's not guaranteed, but we are so optimistic about where we're going and getting money into the hands of the right people as a thank you for these investments in the bonds. We also have uh, scattered around outside, you'll see QR codes that you can scan of uh, things you can participate in. We have a trip to Greece uh, where we talk about some of the ancient technologies and ancient ways of, um, that will be seen in some of these ancient sites led by Nassim and you'll learn more about the quantum physics. We also have a trip in Chamonix where Nassim is gonna give a longer lecture um, and that's coming up on April 20th. And we have art crystals for sale as well. And so your help is so appreciated um, and definitely necessary as well because what I mentioned before is we're not funded by any large organizations. And so a little bit goes a long way if you can help and putting action to the words. So. With that, I want to thank you very much, and I want to invite Nassim onto the stage.